Hello, church family. I hope that you have had a wonderful Christmas and are excited about what God has planned for 2021. We're living in unprecedented times, but in the midst of it all, God has been very gracious to us and he has continued to move in ways that we could not have predicted. We are so thankful that we had the opportunity to meet together through Christmas, especially for our Christmas Eve gathering, and also this past Sunday. I wanted to bring everyone up to speed on how Dr. Miller and I, along with the chairs of our deacon and trustee boards and our ministry team members, have been processing and praying on the current COVID situation locally and how we need to be responding as a church family. After much prayer and discussion, we've decided that it is wise for us to close down our in-person worship gatherings and any non-essential activities through January 10th. This is due to the proximity and frequency with which there has been potential exposure for some of our church family members. Our prayer is that by closing non-essential activities through January 10th, we will allow for the peripheral exposures to fade and anyone that will be rejoining us in person to have the next 10 days to limit their contact with others and be confident in not spreading the virus unknowingly. We know that we would be deceiving ourselves if we thought that any man-made plans would be able to completely control what we are experiencing locally and even internationally. But we are also confident that we can simultaneously trust the Lord to ultimately guide and protect us while also being as wise and prudent as possible with our decision making. Here's my pastoral encouragement to you. First John 4 tells us that perfect love casts out fear. And we need to remember that God's love for us truly is perfect. I want to strongly exhort you to take any fear and anxiety to the Lord. He's the only one that can take that burden from you. He is the only one that can cause us to rest in his peace that passes understanding. Let us not live in fear as the people of God, but let us also be wise and gracious as we think about those around us. As we look to join back in person after January 10th, please be cautious in your interactions publicly. If you aren't feeling well, or if you've been around someone that may not be feeling well, we'd encourage you to stay home for a few days, monitor how you're feeling before re-engaging with groups. Continue to minister to the needs of those around you, especially those that may be struggling throughout these difficult times, but do it safely and wisely. We don't have any idea what the Lord's plans are for the coming days, but we can be confident that they are good, right, and perfect, even if we may not understand them totally in the moment. As always, we miss whenever the church family is not together to encourage each other, to worship our great God. We will have that opportunity again in a few short weeks. In the meantime, please join us online the next two Sundays. Follow on online with our other devotional surveys and helpful tools. And this Sunday, we will be observing communion together at the end of our live stream worship gathering. We'd encourage you to have some bread and juice available and set aside for yourself and your family as we celebrate communion together. Have a great day serving the Lord in whatever he has given you to enter into.